If you are an artist and worried about your intellectual property in the face of this generative AI onslaught, where these models can scrape the World Wide Web or get trained on any image available, and you are worried that whatever you are going to create will be scraped or stolen by these large language models, then you must be wondering if there are any tools available which would help you in mitigating or at least knowing where exactly your data is. One of the tools which is going getting quite attraction is called as Nightshade. There is another tool Glaze but that is a defensive tool and I have seen that it's not that effective when large language models are committed to go through your images or your intellectual property. But Nightshade seems quite promising. Nightshade is an offensive tool that turns any image into a data sample that is unsuitable for model training. More precisely, Nightshade transforms images into poison samples so that model training on them without consent will see their models learn unpredictable behaviors that deviate from expected norm. For example, a prompt that asks for an image of a cow flying in space might instead get an image of a handbag floating in air or somewhere else. So Nightshade can help deter model trainers who disregard copyrights, opt out lists and do not scrape robots.txt directives. It doesn't rely on the kindness of model trainers but instead associates a small incremental price on each piece of data scraped and trained without authorization. Nightshade's goal is not to break models but to increase the cost of training on unlicensed data such that licensing image from their creators become a viable alternative. So as I said, it's an offense tool to distort feature representation inside Gen AI image models. Nightshade is computed as a multi-objective optimization that minimizes visible changes to the original image. While human eyes see a shaded image that is largely unchanged from the original, the AI model sees a dramatically different composition in the image. So that is where I think there's a problem because if you have created something, you don't want to shade it. So, but because if you're shading it, the quality gets compromised. Yes, it might deter these AI model fine tuners or trainers to not to use your image, but then no one else would use it. So that actually defeats the purpose. So that is where my problem is that if you are poisoning your images so that no model is going to use at the same time, you are also um, really deterring your target audience because why anyone would take that deal at the moment and you are messing up the one asset you have right now which is the ability to create images that people might like better than what AI spits out in hopes that your jankified images will somewhere down the line. So I don't think so that this is going to work in the long run. Apart from that, if you don't want to use a tool like Nightshade, there are a few sites where you can go such as this highwaybeentrain.com. You can search for your images, domains and much more. For example, if I say um, my own domain like fahadmirza.com and I press enter. So let's see that um, is it going to search or not. So as you can see, I haven't been searched at all, so I'm not really, it seems that popular enough. Maybe I'll just search for another one. I'll go with um, maybe Microsoft.com. Okay, let's see, answer dot Microsoft.com. Okay, so I'm not even seeing that, but it, because it showed me when I go here, um, answer dash it says 14 images found one image it found but when I click here it's not showing me anything it is saying spawning is temporarily suspended so this is a problem with with these with these sites and all that stuff that you know sometimes they don't give you anything maybe I need to sign in but even then I have found these sites not that reliable so Poisoning the images, poisoning the text, good idea, but I think it's only feasible if it doesn't change the way uh, people are, humans are looking at it. For humans, it should be as is. 
so only then it will make any sense and now let me show you how you can download nightshade and start using it go to nightshade website and i'll drop the link in video's description it's simply nightshade.cs.uchicago.hu and then from the download section scroll down and download from here at the bottom i'm using windows so i have just used fastlink for windows nightshade it's a big package more than 2 gb and you, then it downloads a lot of libraries as you can see here which includes PyTorch and a lot of machine learning libraries so make sure that you have 4 to 5 GB of space on your disk system and it takes a bit of a time now once that's done you can fire up Nightshade and this is a Nightshade uh, in front of you let me select one of the image and then we will poison it with the help of Nightshade so I have selected the image and let me quickly show you my image too which I am using so this is just a YouTube thumbnail from one of my video which I am going to use let's go back to here and then on the um, so after selecting the image here you can define the nightshade setting I would suggest just leave them to default so for example for intensity that is simply the magnitude of changes that will add to your images how much poisoned you want your image to be you want it as much poison as uh, much then uh, drag it down to high and if you want low poisoning then just drag it to your hair so <clears throat> if you just keep it low less poison will be added and your image actual image will be more visible default is that it will be salted or poisoned not that much but on the medium scale <clears throat> render quality how much what you uh, what duration spent rendering the nightshade if you increase it the poison will be higher but the rendering time will be increased too so just leave it to faster that should be okay or you can go to the medium one here and then click on run nightshade and then or you can uh, okay so first we need to select the output folder from here let me select it so you just put it in the my admin folder and you can see on the right hand side because i have one gpu on this local system it says gpu detected running nightshade on gpu while it runs it it is crafting and you can see you can even optionally put a tag there for example if you want to put your own name your brand name so that wherever um, this brand name would be found uh, by nightshade it is going to uh, or if you find it you can check it with your tag then you would know that this is your image so make sure it is unique and it relates to your brand name and there are a few steps which it takes uh, in crafting it analyzing it and it tells you what it is doing around that now it is doing shading and the ETA is there too so let's wait for it to finish so nightshade has finished poisoning as you can see here and it has saved the image in the target folder now let me open it and show you both images side by side so there you go so this is our uh, resultant image with the poison and this is our actual image and you can see that you don't find much difference between these two with naked eye maybe a bit of uh, a graininess on the target image but still good enough so you can see that really cool stuff so if you're an artist and looking to make sure that you don't um, get taken advantage by these large language model training and you want to make sure that your images are poisoned so that whenever an LLM would um, try it out it won't be able to do so then maybe you can use this nightshade images so that's it guys I hope that you enjoyed it if you know of any other similar tool which can be used for the same purpose let me know and I'll be happy to review it if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed Please share it among your network. Thanks for watching.